Arya, go grab Sun and take him to the car. I can see him looking over here, and he doesn't need to see this. Why won't you talk to me, big guy? Too scared that a real man is here to handle business. I'm calling the cops. This is ridiculous. No, don't call the cops yet. He doesn't need to see that either. Just get him in the car, and I'll be there soon. Answer me. Or are you too much of a bitch? Man, you have no idea what you're putting yourself in the middle of. I have nothing against you. I don't know you. But don't think you're coming around my child and making demands. He's a good man, Phil. He wouldn't hurt me or run me off or keep my child from me. He's nothing like you. I just want to see my baby face to face. Why are you so interested in little boys, Phil? Kind of weird a grown man wants to be the only parent instead of a mom, don't you think? I'm not a caveman. I take care of my son. Why don't you worry about the woman you are choosing to take up for instead? Because I've got my house in order. Baby, I hear sirens. I think she called the cops. We need to get out of here. I just want to look you in the eyes and let you know that you aren't getting away with bullying a woman anymore. She's not fighting you alone. I'll be there to help her. So from now on, you talk to me. Understand? No. Your macho act doesn't scare me. Your input is not required in my child's life. You're going to regret not working with me. I'm not going anywhere, Phil. Officer, I think my fiend called you. She's in the car with my son right now, so I'd prefer to talk to you over here so he isn't involved. What's going on? I got a call about a possible altercation in the parking lot. I don't see anything, though. My ex and her new boyfriend showed up to our son's practice. She has no custody and is not supposed to have any physical visitation for at least two months. Her boyfriend apparently is not a fan of that. I had my fine kick my son off the field and to the car because he hasn't seen his mother since he was a baby, and I didn't want the first time to be like this. He's been through enough. Okay, did they make any threats towards you or your fiank? My ex threatened to assault my fiank. But that was the only direct threat. Okay, so what I can do is refer you to the magistrate's office, and you can file a report there if you choose to. In regards to her showing up when she is not supposed to, you'll have to take that up in family court. That's fine, I plan on letting my attorney handle this. If I could just get a copy of the police report when you complete it, that would be helpful. Of course. I have to say, it's refreshing to see a man step up and fight for his child. It speaks to your character. It's the bare minimum of what my son deserves. That's not something to compliment me on, but I appreciate the sentiment. I will have my attorney reach out in the next day or so to get a copy of the police report. Yes, sir. If you could just give me the information you know about the other party, I will get out of your hair. Dad, who were you talking to? Why was there a cop here? That's grown-up stuff. You don't need to worry about it. That was my mom from the phone. I recognized her. Did she call the cops on you? No, baby, I called the police because your mom's friend was making me feel unsafe. But everything is okay now. She was yelling. So was that guy. I don't like them. Sometimes people yell when they're upset. But you don't need to worry about it. I hate them. I'm not talking to her anymore. If she calls, I'm just going to sit there and not say anything to her because she doesn't get to yell at my dad. I hope that cop takes her to jail. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry you had to see any of that. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just called the police to my job. 
I got here to get ready for a client and someone vandalized the building and broke my security cameras. Are you okay? What did they do? Besides breaking the cameras, they broke out the window on the front door and spray painted home wrecker and see you next Tuesday all over the front. It looks really good for the customers, I'm sure. Home wrecker. So you're thinking it's Elaine. Either her or her super cool new boyfriend. I can't afford to fix this before the insurance claim goes through. I'm going to have to board up the window and paint over the spray paint. Do you want me to see if I can leave work early and I'll come help you? No, I have to cancel my first client so we need you to make up the money I won't be earning. It's fine, I'm just pissed. I worked s What did the police say? They want me to ask around to see if anyone may have caught it on their security cameras. But I doubt it in the area I'm in. And I've been on the phone with my insurance company all day. I'm sorry. Are you sure you don't want me to come help you? Yes, I'm sure. Honestly, I'm not in the best mindset to be around anyone right now. I don't want to take my anger out on you. I want to take my anger out on Elaine, but it's not worth it. It's not. You know she'll deny it and try and use it in court. I hate her. I really do. What right does she have to just show up one day and try to ruin everyone's lives? She made the choice to leave. She should have stayed gone. It's not fair to you or son. I'm sorry. Why did the police just come question me about your skinks business? What the fuck? Well, seeing as someone wrote homewrecker on the building, and you call her that, and you just threatened her the other day, it's reason to believe that you have some type of involvement. I wouldn't spray paint her building. I'd burn it down. She's lucky it wasn't me. I hope you're telling the truth about that because we will be going after the person responsible in every legal way possible. She probably did it herself because she's a shitty dog groomer and was trying to get the money. Honestly, I know you think the sun shines out her ass, but I bet if you look into her, she'll have some nasty secrets. You may have broken my heart, but I still love you and don't want to see you hurt. You should look before getting married to someone like her. Hi, baby. I hope you're in a better mood to talk today. No, I'm not. Well, let me show you something I think you'll like. Mommy moved into a new house, and I've been busy setting up your own room. I don't need a room, because I'm never going there ever. Oh, I think you'll change your mind when you see this. Look. I got you a bed with a slide on it, and a big TV, and your very own PS5. Plus, it's a really nice house. We have a pool in the backyard, and there's a playground right next door that you can play on whenever you want. And it's across the street from your school. And I have a surprise for you. I was going to wait until I knew when you would get to come spend time with me, but I think I'll just tell you now. What? Oh, I don't know. You've not been very nice to me. Tell me. Are you going to be nice? Yes, okay. Just tell me. Okay, so once your dad decides to let me have you spend time here with me, then Matt and I decided we are all going to go to Disney World. Disney? No way. I've always wanted to go to Disney. Yup. We can go there and there's a special hotel you can stay in where the giraffes from the safari ride will come poke their heads in your window. And we can ride roller coasters and see fireworks, and it will be so special. Well, you still were not nice to my mom and dad? No, I wasn't. But that's because I am just so upset that they are keeping me away from my baby. They've kept me from you for a long time, and I don't want to miss any more of your life. You'll understand when you're older. Son wants to see me. You need to put your nonsense aside and let him spend time with me. 
I heard the phone call. Of course he wants to see you. You bribe him with every kid's dream. I'm just trying to make up for lost time. When we go to court next week, I will be demanding visits. We deserve to have a relationship. I am fine with the judge granting visits, as long as they are supervised. No one is preventing you from building a relationship. We just want to make sure you have son's best interest in mind. Of course I have his best interest in mind. I'm his mother. Everything I do is for him. I am not arguing with you about this. If that is the case, then we all want what is best for son and we'll do what we need to to ensure he is happy and healthy. Court is now in session to revisit the custody order of the son of Phil and Elaine. Before we begin, has the mother submitted to the psychological evaluation and random Dr. Zero grand screening? Yes, Your Honor. She passed the Dr. Zero grand screening, and the psychologist did not report any safety concerns in regards to her results. Wonderful. Moving on from that, has either party reported any issues with the current system? Yes, Your Honor. My client complains that the mother has attempted to break court order by showing up to son's extracurricular activities in an attempt to have face-to-face -face visits with him. She has also threatened the stepmother of son and degrades her over the phone to son. This is highly concerning, as son has established a strong emotional connection to Arya and recognizes her as the mother figure in his I have submitted the police reports concerning this incident. My client does not believe that it would be appropriate to move forward with face-to-face -face contact at this time due to these issues. He is requesting to reevaluate visitation at a later date. Your Honor, that is completely unnecessary. My client has made mistakes, but she is desperate to see her child in person. She has proven that she is safe and has no concerning mental issues. There is no reason to not allow a mother access to her child. While I understand that your client is wanting access to her child after years apart, I also can acknowledge the very valid concerns that the father has in regards to unsupervised visits. Your Honor, my client is willing to agree to supervised visitations and would like to request that the maternal grandmother is the supervisor. Is this something that your client would agree to? My client prefers to have visitations at a visitation center. I am not inclined to order visits at a supervision center when there is no safety concern for the child. As the mother has shown there is no immediate danger to the child, I am willing to move forward with short supervised visits between mother and child, supervised by a third party agreed upon by the biological parents. The mother will be granted one to our visit every weekend, supervised by the agreed upon third part, along with the two weekly FASA time visits. We will reconvene in three months to determine if supervised visitations are still necessary or if we can proceed with unsupervised visitation. Court is now dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor.